Hello everybody, welcome to NAF Ladder Action. We've got uh, my Necromantic here versus Coach Morg, who is the guy who uh, has created the league and is running the league and everything, so that's very nice of him, isn't it? Uh, very cool to uh, play the fella running the league. And uh, Dimmy is here chatting about his UKTC adventures. Hello, Dimmy. Hello, everybody. That's it. You can carry on now, Dimmy. Sorry, I just had to. I had to do the intro, you know. Ooh, engagement question, Dimmy. Engagement question. Um, can't think of one. Engage me, Dimmy. <laughs> oh, injured look. We've already had. What's your favourite pasta? That's all I could think of. Why are you thinking about pasta? I don't know. I never eat pasta. How many calories do you eat each day? <laughs> I guessed 1,700, and then uh, I worked it out when it was 1,692. So that was good, wasn't it? Clever Jimothy. I could surf, couldn't I? Can I? No, I can't. Oh, I, should have, I should have set up so I could surf. Diced. What's your favourite chocolate bar? Oh, yes. Yes, that's a good We've had that before. White Twix is mine, obviously. God tier. God tier chocolate bar, even though I haven't eaten it in forever. Three, four, five, six. Ugh. Do I blitz? I think I blitz here. Give up the hit to secure the ball. This sucks, doesn't it? This kick, I've got to re-roll the pickup. Hey! Alright, thank God. So it cost me an extra hit, but I think it was worth it to get that wraith over there. And the first turn cast is pretty good, isn't it? Not bad at all. Oh, what do you think? Yeah, is Dimmy is Dimmy is Dimmy married? There you go. That's that's the question from Andy David. And uh, hello, Andy. If you were, uh, oh, that's an engagement question. I've got it. Very good. Very good. And uh, yeah. What do you think the new tabletop team will be? That's the one, isn't it? That's the question. Flip me. Is this a sneaky git foul? It looks like it. I 
I'm kind of okay with him like going away from the ball. Kind of. One assist foul. Isn't too bad. a player there fuck's sake so that could go there and then he could go I guess I do have to do a blockless block a blockless block Go there, couldn't it? Is that better? Probably. I don't know what's happened to Dimmy here. Pathetic. What a shit turn. It's Naf Ladder. Oh, don't. Hello. This is Coach Morgs. Coach Morgs team. Coach Morgs Ladder. This is Coach Morgs Ladder, the Naf Ladder. Um, he, he has created it to enable us to play games of NAF style. Very good. There's some, got some admins now. Very good. People have volunteered to help, so that's good, isn't it? And, uh, yeah, we can have... Do the admins have tools? More or less. It's obviously not great because it's cyanide. <laughs> oh, please, no knockdown. Yes. It's only one assist, but it's fucking annoying, isn't it? <laughs> Keeping him stunned. So let's stand him up and block him. Beat him off. Oh. Okay, good. Very good. It's 
So I guess what I could do is stand these here first. A good bit of turn ordering. So that when I double skull, I feel good about myself. Actually, it was a bad bit of turn ordering, wasn't it? Because now <laughs> that corner is slightly weak. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should have done the blitz first. <laughs> oh, fuck. That was a bad idea. Was that the apple on that guy as well? Yeah, I should have just done that. I should have not moved them first. I should have just done the blitz. And then I could have had these four players and I could have stayed. I didn't really want to stay where I was though. I think he has to go there. I shouldn't have done that. I thought I was being safe, but I was being stupid. What an Egypt. Hello, L Plate Game. Thanks for the rip. Glorious. No, of course it's right to foul. It's just annoying that it keeps breaking his AV, isn't it? It's only one assist foul. It could easily not have broken his AV. Maybe I should have not followed there, but I wouldn't have given away the free instant 2D, right? Without it being the ogre to 2D. Yeah, that was a bad follow, but I want to be able to punch the guard in next turn. For free. That's why I followed. Base cage doesn't look to be too bad, does it? Dabbiest cage. Well, hey, diced. God, <laughs> found fouled again. This is okay though, that's a, that's a lot of space opened up actually. I think this was a bad foul this time. Oh, sent off. Well done, well done, Wolf. Fantastic job. Fantastic job from the Wolf there. If I just get that, then I can chain him away, and then the wolf could blitz somewhere else. Or he could blitz him, and then that's a 2D. Yeah, I think this this blockless blitz is good. Famous last words. But...
Oh god, he can't dodge. I thought he was free. Oh god, what a disaster. I'm a dumbass. Too late now. Oh well. It's probably not that bad actually. As terrible as it is. I literally thought, oh this lineman can do the corner. But he wasn't there. That's why I was going there originally. <laughs> That's why I was going there originally. <laughs> oh, flip me. This is a bit messed up, isn't it? To say I'm two players up, and he's got three players knocked over, This is that was a shit turn. A really shit turn. Oh, brain on slugs. Glorious. Yeah, definitely about to be sent off, but I, I thought it was giving me a lot of space up here and then I didn't ta even take it, so there you go. That showed me. I was thinking it was it was bad to take two players away because I thought it was going to push up there and then I pushed down. Maybe I should have pushed up there. I could have fouled this guy with this guy, maybe so maybe he's trying to free him and foul this guy and then like cage around this fella and foul him is maybe he's the best. That's what I was thinking. But then didn't do it. This isn't actually too easy to hit the ball here, so at least like not in a meaningful way. Only one reroll. Gotta be sensible already. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, flip me. Rolling all the dice to get the 2D on the ball. But there's no tackle here, so. yet. Do we put in the last re-roll? No. Flip me. That was pretty rowdy. I, I Either Dimmy is muted. He's not left. So either he's just AFK or he's muted himself. If you're here, Dimmy, you're muted. <laughs> It's all a bit tricky, isn't it, because of guards and stuff. I think this guy has to block him because he's got block. So now I've got a fleshy free and a wolf free. And how the hell do I free the ball with only block full blocks? That's the question, isn't it? Could put this player here. That's only a one on the first one. So I want to hit him. But this guy, but then again, it's, it's a blockless. I really want to not do blockless blocks. Okay. I think this is the way to do it. He's a blitzer. Fuck me. Well, doesn't that suck? I mean, knocking people over ever would help. <laughs> I mean, I guess I was knocking them over when I was uh, when I was removing. Them. I have removed some. I oh, removed one of his own.
this really sucks. But at least there's like there's a guard on this guy, and these two are somewhat difficult to dislodge. And the question is, do I do this one D here? He's getting instant. He's instantly freeing his mighty blower, so I guess I have to. Very nice. Really nice. This is very sloppy, isn't it? The chocolate lockbox in it. <laughs> oh dear. The chocolate lockbox is hilarious, isn't it? He's no more falling off his chair, Russia. Um, he is. Uh, he is stone cold sober now. His old Dimrath. Well, hey, foul appearance. Beautiful. Well done, Wraith. Absolutely beautiful from the Wraith. Oh my god, Bonehead. It's all coming up, Jimbo. Okay, this turn is probably good enough to get the drive done, I think. Well, hey. The most important one is this guy hitting the lino. And then moving the ball. Does he want to blitz first or just stand? He could blitz down here. He could blitz. There's lots of places he could go, isn't there? Like, I'd like to block him first because obviously it's blocked, but then he might sidestep onto the fleshy. Lovely. Then this gets to block this and keep him under control. We can block this. Instant full pal. Holy pals, Batman. Hello, Dimbo. Hello. How are you? Looked scary for a minute then. Looked very fucking scary, yeah. But, um. Looking Did pretty you... good now. I got forward, Dimmy. I got forward. I had the chance to get forward, so I got forward. 
Yeah, not too early as well. Amazing. Mm. Would you have rerolled the uh, ball sack? Um, I guess like if you're rerolling getting there, then you probably want to reroll once you've got there, right? Try Gethel. Hello, chicken. Yeah, Dimmy is Dimmy is skinny Dimmy now. Zero falling off chairs. Dimmy is skinny Dimmy now. Zero falling off chairs. I won't go that far, I'm still more than capable of falling <laughs> off the chair. <laughs> PMA and Perseverance, that's the one. I mean, it's not so much the PMA and Perseverance as just thinking, what the hell, like this has to be my fault because I made three removals, right? So like, <laughs> I, have to, I have to have done something wrong because how can I be three players up and still struggling at all? So and against humans. Yeah, I was given no choice but to blame myself. <laughs> and my wolf's getting hit. Like, one wolf got 2 deed and the other wolf got 3 deed by an ogre. Terrible. Terrible stuff. Never give up. Right. So now he can go there. Done the bare minimum to look after the ball. Good. Oh, I forgot to assist him. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie. That's the. I guess I've got to leave the leave the wolf down there. It is, yes, yes, that's exactly what it is, chicken, yep, it's just like, it's just like ladder, but, um, not. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly the same as ladder, except it's completely different. Exactly, yes. Oh, well, there is a rank, but it's, uh, I haven't actually seen it since the weekend. Quite a few people have been playing actually. Seabro is at the top of it at the moment. Yeah, Seabro has been playing a lot. Morg has been playing a lot. And they haven't got a massive advantage over everyone else because they've played more. Exactly. Am I going to get fouled? Not really, right? This is hard to free up this line out to foul me. So I guess I just end, end the flipping turn, man. He's got no one shit left to foul with either, has he? Exactly, yeah. Yeah, the one the one shit one is like next to a fleshy and surrounded by surrounded by fleshies and wraiths. <laughs> so uh yeah, not so easy for him. Uh no no no, there's just just ranked in game. There's no there's no um oh yeah, no, it's not NAF ranked. It could be, there's potential for it to be NAF ranked. Um like if, you know, like the NAF people get spoken to and if they approve these counting for your NAF rankings, online rankings, then I guess they could be. But for now it's just um it's not actually ranked by the actual NAF. No. It's not affiliated in any way with the actual tabletop NAF. It is just NAF style ladder. Interesting. Got the mighty blow here, but that looks a very tasty ogre. I believe I can get the ogre, can't I? It's two into two, isn't it? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yep, and two into two, yeah, I mean I've got to go for this. Kill him, please. Another lucky. Give him a dig. And the 
Dimmy G special. Don't forget the emote. Yep. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> Wow, you're so toxic to me. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> you made me. You forced me against my will to do it. <laughs> oh, dear. And this quick into forcing a rush is definitely going to happen one of these days. Oh, dear. <laughs> That is pretty good though, Timmy, to be fair. Well done. There could be a one turn here, but how much do I care? One reroll? The sidestep is actually really good, isn't it? But um But I think I don't want like my sidesteppers and stand firms punched, right? Punched and perhaps well, I guess not fouled anymore. Three, six, nine, ten. Oh there's a throw teammate. There's a throw teammate. Okay. Let's defend more of Genius. this team, mate. Genius. That's why I'm the best in the business, Dimmy. We had this conversation today. We did, yeah. Looks like you're adopting the... Uh... No, that was just that was just me being incorrect. Mm. I'm, I'm not listening to Yudi. No? No. Mate, I would believe anything he says now. I mean, I, I, like, I don't think he's wrong, and I don't think I'm right. I just don't think anybody knows right like that's the thing. nobody knows what the best thing is there's no way he knows what the best one is right uh, some so you could work it out like you wouldn't even have to be a mega nerd to work it out you'd have to have you just have to have the free time and inclination to do it um i think his win might be better versus two big guys well the problem is it's like now he can just one turn with side set I mean, yeah, if he rolls the dice, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's actually, yeah, I should have done the Yudla guy, yeah, because now, it's, now it's, it's a lot easier, isn't it? He doesn't have to do the 5 plus. <laughs> I was thinking I'd do a 5 4 3, but he doesn't now, he just has to do a 4 4 3. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I should have done that. I should have done the Yudi defense because he's got the catcher as well, yeah. Because the catcher just having to dodge through the back line is hard enough anyway, isn't it? Like, I don't think you have to defend against an edge 3 one turn, honestly. Just backline it, and then they've got to do a 5 4 3. It two. looks like he's going for a throw team, mate. Yeah. Yeah, it's not official in Auburn, it was looks not. It was Coach Morg, funnily enough. The one playing now is the person who created the league. So, and it's it's like it's already got loads of members, right? The Discord has got like over 100 people in instantly. Oh. Is that the halfling? <laughs> That's how you defend against a one turn, Dimmy, in case you're wondering. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm so good at Blood Bowl. <laughs> Honestly, your dice are just unbearable. <laughs> I like this more against against a, a one thrower, right? I think versus a one thrower like this, like like Olga, because he wants that he wants the half in the middle, right? So that he's more likely to get it if it goes to the side. He can get a player and get it to him. So so if he's got one thrower, I prefer this. So you've got like a bigger web of tackle zones to to land in at least one and maybe two. But yeah, maybe if he's got two throwers, you have them on both sides. So that whichever side it goes, you'll be able to get it to him. So if they've got two, like so, like halflings and goblins, then versus two throws, maybe it is better to just uh, straight line. Oh yeah, the ball and in gnomes. landing there would <clears throat> be good, wouldn't it? And ogres. Yes, yeah. So most of the ones that will try, really. <laughs> yes. <laughs> maybe it is. Yeah. Better. But even then, you know, like, they're probably going to put them on the LOS. Like, they can't go that wide when they're throwing. That's the thing. I don't know. Wait. Well, hey. Do not. So that 
has. Doesn't regen, but I've got a reserve anyway. Could just go 11 players and have the second go. But I like having 12, because then it means I can foul as well, doesn't it? Oh man, this foul is rowdy. It's fair, right? Because with 6 9, there is 11 players, they're not actually down there. The payoff is big, isn't it? And there you go, gets it. Balance is pretty good, yeah. Oh god, his KO comes back in mind, doesn't it? It's fucking diced. If I'd, if I'd just done a single line, I would have been alright. <laughs> it's almost like we're learning on stream, it's amazing. No. I'll never learn. Oh, that was... Now the second half is actually looking pretty good for humans. It is, yeah. I mean, that was a very un very unlucky foul for me and combined with the kill rolls, but it was fair to go for it, wasn't it? Do you like the sneaky get catcher? I'm not so sure about that. Ah, it's alright, isn't it? It's probably better than block. To be honest. Or wrestle? Yeah. Like, they're not that good, are they, block and wrestle? Like, the problem with human catchers is they're not very good themselves. <laughs> so, they can take Sneaky Git and Dirty Player and be quite happy. And then, obviously, in this case, you only get one half. But, like, if you were to take Sneaky Git on a gutter runner, you'd be mental because it's a gutter runner and gutter runners are amazing. But human catchers aren't really amazing, are they? <laughs> so, so, it ain't so bad. Yeah, that was a very fake fixed goal, wasn't it? Oh, P.I. My old mind go down. Brilliant. Oh, dear. Well, this is looking like a draw, isn't it? Gonna take. Could be a loss. Nah. Can't be a loss. It's just not possible to lose, is it? Not for you. Hey! <laughs> no end of an era here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> How many times have you watched that clip? <laughs> oh, look, give me a second. I'll tell you. I'll tell you how many times I've watched it. Um, eighteen hundred and forty. Oh my god! Is that <laughs> how many views it's got? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> So that means probably how many times I've seen it. <laughs> oh shit, he's got a tackler. Oh, oh. Wait, oh. I was like, how can he blitz it? But it's because obviously the, the pitch invasion. Flip me. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Imagine not setting up for the pitch invasion. I know, what a noob I am. What a big old noob. Could go for the ball here if he fails the pick up. It's not four stun players. <laughs> Yeah, it was a bit rowdy. I guess he's got four year olds and he thinks the pass worth it. But, uh, and it could be, right? I wouldn't feel that desperate that I had to re roll it at this juncture. Personally.
Why'd you hit the dirty player? So that he could, I could chain out the. Oh, I could have chained out anyway, couldn't I? No, no. So I could chain out the wall. Yeah, so I could chain out the wall. I didn't. I didn't want to foul this guy. It's not a good turn, is it? But I had four guys stunned, so <laughs> so there wasn't a lot I could do. Yeah, I wanted I wanted to chain out the wolf to protect him. Was the idea. Super interesting. It's gone pretty far forward. Maybe he will try and win. It makes sense to try to win and lose a bit more in this snaff ladder because, you know, you're not punished for losing in any way at all, are you? So I guess the best thing you should be trying to practice for in NAF style is to get those wins to win tournaments. Yeah, also, yeah, if you're practicing NAF, like, you will practice winning, right? Because yeah. unless it's a team tournament, like, you need to win. Yeah, yeah, good point. Very good point. The only difference here is that they don't take an hour and 40 minutes on their drive to score <laughs> yep. and then leave you with 40 minutes on your drive. <laughs> yes. Honestly, no, this, this French lad took 15 minutes to set up for his one turn. I was like, you're just going to double power. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. I remember when I played Dave in tabletop. There was like he spent. About, yeah, yeah. He spent about twenty minutes setting up his one turn. And that I knew he had no. Like he basically had no chance. Right, I had like mummies, and had set up to stop the pushes. And he, he did have Roxana, so he did have like a movement eight, edge five. So it, so like that was good, but it was basically impossible. When did you play like, Dave O? Years ago, uh, UKTC. Like. Did you? Yeah, years ago. Did you beat him? Yeah, of course I did. Did you actually? Yeah, of course I did. What was the racial matchup? Um, he had Zons with Roxana. What did you and have? And I had Undead. undead and what was Orbit. the score? Uh, like 2 1. And what was the kickoff events? No idea. <laughs> <laughs> what was the weather like? <laughs> like mate, we, I, I swear we had Swelter in Heat in one game and we both just completely forgot about it. Hmm. But um, <coughs> yeah, the uh, whose team was it? Was, it? was his team decent? I mean, it was. Did, one, you, did it was... you come runners up? Uh, no, we were was like it... third. We were third. Ah, see. Yeah, Zons weren't as good then, were they? I mean, they were pretty good. They were still Zons. Did you have a tackle, White? Right? Um, no, I had a frenzy. I had a gardener frenzy. Oh, you noob. No, I, I preferred frenzy because it's not useless sometimes. It's not useless sometimes. Yeah, like tackle is useless sometimes, isn't it? Yeah, but I mean frenzy can be like a problem sometimes. It can. Whereas tackle is never a problem. It's just useless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which I don't know what's worse. <laughs> it's 
Sons have always been good. I've never played. Well, I never played the old Sons. And I can't. It was I Zones with I've... Roxana, Dimmy. You're asking were they good? I mean, I'd say Zones with Roxana are better than current Zones, right? Well, they had the. Everyone talks about the broken Galanti, wasn't it? Bro, Bo Galanti. Yeah, like this Bert. was before they had Bo Galanti. Well, this is before Bert had Bo Galanti. This was the number one team was Zones with with Roxana. Well, I like better than Woody's. Well, the number one like star player team. Ah. Uh, yeah, I never played uh, the old full set on tabletop. Mm. <clears throat> I mean, Woody's were very good. I also played Purple Goo that tournament, and he had Woody's, and he beat me 2 0, I think. 2 0. 2 0, yeah. I think I was try foolishly trying to win. Mate, I, I played Undead against Woody's. That was the game that I drew, and like. I literally didn't remove. The like I, I KO'd like three Woodies at the end of the first half, mm -hmm. and then they all came back. So he had like eleven, and then he cast the ghoul and cast the zombies. So I had ten. So I was down <laughs> players at half time versus Woodies. I was so pissed off. I lost. I lost like three nil to a uh, Sage. Um, I had what, undead, on tabletop. No, on a uh, oh. fumble, like a fumble naff event, and I had I had undead and he had. He had Woody's and he just outbashed the fuck out of me, so I kept having yeah. to, like, you know, to get the result. I kept having to do ever more crazy things, which meant he just kept turning me over. And yeah, I know, and so. like when you're 1 0 down and that, you've got to force it. Yeah. This wasn't good, was it? Maybe I should have done a GA5 with that fleshy. I did think maybe I should have done GA5 because it's just getting him down for free. But he, you know, I should, be able to, I should be able to force him in early and get the win. Maybe, maybe he wants to be forced in early, Jimmy. Maybe he does, but, you know, the plan is to beat him if he does that, isn't it? In the rain. How many re-rolls you got? Mm, that's a good point, actually. Three. Okay. I've got three. I hate it when you use a couple of re-rolls and then they score early and you're like, what? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it does suck. I've got no re-rolls. <laughs> He's getting enough down the field to like maybe stall this out for a bit. Nah, he'll, he'll have to go in next turn, I think. Can you say that? I do say that, Dimmy. You might quad skull. I might quad skull. Well, that was huge. I can believe it when I quad skull. That stops me getting the ball off him this turn, doesn't it? Ugh. Disgusterous three pluses. They're amazing when they work, aren't they? Yeah, I can't believe that geezer did so well with chaos. That's wild, isn't it? He had a claw ogre. I guess he was just anticipating loads of orcs. Maybe he did just play against loads of orcs. But like, he don't even have block or guard on it or nothing. PC play chaos. Not PC. It was um, it's a guy called Liam who's an Italian coach. Who is very good, and his team won the UKTC, and he took chaos. And then, so the last game, like the last game of UKTC, on the top table of the whole event was chaos versus Slan, I think. <laughs> Which is mad. <laughs> it's mad, isn't it? This is a. I don't know of any other geezers playing Blood Bowl. Just PC. Dementor came third. Yeah, Dementor had it. Like, he was playing Vamps. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, Jimmy. Dementor was playing Vamps and he went 5 1 0. He's a 91 rated coach, isn't he? Yeah, but what? Did, it, did Elliot rate him higher than himself? No, Elliot rated himself 99. <laughs> and then he goes 3 0 3 and Dementor came third. Mm hmm. The mental had a bog as well, I think. I think. Fair and it was, Yeah, but then like the mental was saying he thinks the bog was a mistake, and yet he did way better than Elliot did. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? Yeah. Smelly odd. Smelly odds. I still don't know about this bog or not. He wasn't happy with it. Because he didn't switch player skills up on a two plus. <laughs> There were some good zombie dodges there. 
Hello. Jó van beugrni. Jó tarsz van beugrni. Yes, I didn't think he was going to be able to stall, so this doesn't look very stallable, does it? <laughs> Uh, no, he's got to do, he's got to do the uh, four three, I think. I don't see unless he wants to dodge the guard out on a three plus and then one D blitz through the wall. But I don't see. Well, no, I think you just dodge the guard. So it's three three to stop a four. Yeah. Is three three better than a f three three? Isn't better than a four, is it? If you've got rerolls, it is right. He's got three rerolls, so. So you dodge out and you do the 1D blitz with the guard and then you dodge the thrower to score, right? Yeah, basically have to, yeah. Basically have to, because yeah. you have to spend all the rerolls, don't you? So what's an uphill? Like, an uphill is what? Like, in terms of... Well, without block, it's shit, isn't it? Basically. Oh, so it's only if you got block. Yeah. And they, and they don't have block, I guess. Yeah. No, it's just the three. Yeah, it would have been better if I'd done another GFI, but I didn't want to risk it. You said oh, that well. last time. Yeah, but... Oh well. This is okay. I didn't use a reroll, so that's good. I got five turns to score. And he used the reroll. <sighs> and I didn't get my fucking... Didn't get my fucking thing back and he got his back. Gross. So you're losing, Jim. You're losing. Nah, I'm winning now, 1-1. One, one. Winning 1-1. One, one. But... GG. The bat ogre is cool. <coughs> I don't like the uh, I don't like the the Games Workshop mini for the uh, bug. No, I'm not. I'm not. It's a fan. really impractical. Like, <coughs> com like compared to like other Games Workshop minis, it's like new next level impractical. Yeah, like it looks cool, but yeah, ludicrous to ludicrous to play, play with. with yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got the third party one. I got the, I think it's brute fun, I believe. But I haven't painted it completely. I painted it white or grey, kind of white, closer to white. It's called off white. <laughs> and then I put a pink wash on it, and it kind of just looks like a ball sack. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of looks like a ball sack. I'm not gonna Amazing. lie. I'll send you a picture later, Jimmy. Thanks. Please. Of my ball sack. Yeah, I was going to say, like, please, <laughs> please don't just send me a picture of your ball sack. <laughs> and be like, look at my fog. <laughs> it's literally like a ball sack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, flip me. Yeah, the brute fun one, yeah. I'm, I don't think I'm going to take it. I'm playing Vamps next week at uh, Posh. I don't think I'm going to play it. Oh, can I explain the train home? I, I think I already explained it on... Did I explain the train home to you, Jim, on this stream? Uh, no. I need to like. Oh my god! I need to like tone the story down because, <laughs> like, there's there's a rude version and then there's a. Ooh. So basically, I get to London Bridge at eleven o'clock. My train's at eleven twenty-four. London Bridge, for anyone who's not from the London area, is a very alcoholic place of England. So. Everyone who is in London Bridge at 11 o'clock at night is absolutely hammered. And then when I get to the train platform, like, it's really full, like, crazy full. Like, considering we're going to Hastings, like, normally when you get on the train any other time of day, there's, like, loads of seats and all that sort of thing. But because it's the very last train, there's no other train you can get after that train. So, like, everyone has to, like, leave the pub and go home if they're going that way. Because it goes through Tunbridge Wells, which is, like... Loads of people in Tunbridge Wells go to London for the day. And uh, basically, uh, the, I get on the train and I, I manage to grab a seat like right by the door. I sit down. And then some girl gets on like through the other doors but on the same carriage. Mm. And um, there's a guy there with some sort of some sort of learning difficulty. Like he's not like uh, all the ticket. Right. And... And then she says to him, "Can I sit down?" And he's like, "No." Mm. And then, and then like, and then she starts shouting at him, going like, "Let me sit down." And he's like, "No." But like, he's like, he's like got a lot of learning difficulties. Like, he's not like a normal person just being rude and saying, "No, you can't sit down." Like, he, I don't know what his reasoning was, but he was just like, "No." 
And then the guy next to him, the guy next to him gets up and goes, look, you can have my seat, it's fine, don't worry about it. And he's like, no, it's the principal, this guy should let me sit down next to him. And then <clears throat> some other guy down the carriage, who was just a complete chav and a bell end, just gets up and starts screaming in this guy's face, like going, oh, I'm going to lay everyone out, I'm going to knock everyone out, blah, blah, blah. And the funniest thing was, because this guy was that special, he was like, no, I'm not moving, like, nobody can sit next to me, I've, I've got, like, some... <laughs> like, he had difficulty understanding, like, the danger his life was in, basically. <laughs> Jesus. So, like, he just still refusing to move, and then, and then, like, the train attendant, basically, is like, look, mate, just leave him alone, he's, he's obviously special and stuff. And like says to the girl, just sit in the seat that the guy has offered you. Like it's not a problem, just leave it. And then this guy is all like, oh, I've got ADHD, I've got special needs. Just because you, I don't look like it. Like you're all having a go at me, blah blah blah. And then like he just started mouthing off. And then like it all kind of quietened down for like ten minutes. And like, like meantime, the train's going home. And then it all quietened down for like ten minutes. And then she asks him to see his ticket, and then he's like, oh, I'm not effing showing you my <laughs> ticket, like, you can F off, like, blah, 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 blah. And then I can't remember what he said, but he said something, and everyone went, ooh. Like, <laughs> he, <said something. laughs> he must have said something, like, extra offensive, like, more offensive than the normal F off, <laughs> slag sort of thing. And then anyway, so we get to the next train station and the train stops, like she's pressed some button and some weird beeping noise has gone off. Like they open the doors and we just sit on the platform for like half an hour. Mm. And then obviously like he twigs that she's rang the old bill and they're just <laughs> waiting for the old bill to come and get him. And then he's like, well, if you're not going anywhere with me on the train, I'll just get off the train. And then like he finally, he finally got off the train like to avoid getting arrested probably. <laughs> And then they like as soon as he got off the train, they just shut the door and drove off without him. <laughs> <laughs> but then, mm. the, and the problem was, is like I was supposed to get home at one in the morning. And I got home at half one. And it was it was just mad drama. It was just mm. mad drama. And I was just sat there like with my minis, <laughs> like you know, just, like all these drunk people. Like oh my god, it was it was it was a real like worrying time for humanity. Honestly. <laughs> I was just sat there going, "Oh my god, are people really like this? Is this the world we live in?" Yes. yes but the the, I, the one thing that did make me chuckle was when the guy got up and screamed in his face and threatened to bang him out, like to move, and he just went, "No, I'm not moving." <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "No, no one can sit next to me." <laughs> that is pretty hilarious. And then the guy was just like, "Oh." And just like walked off screaming, it was quite funny. Yeah, I got home in one piece exactly. I was like, for a minute, I was worried that the train was just going to terminate, and then I was going to be stuck like somewhere that was going to cost me another sixty quid to get home or something. But it was, yeah, it was just all drama. Do you know what I mean? So basically, like when we were driving back from York, I was just panicking the whole time that I wouldn't make it back in time for the train. So I was like incredibly stressed, just going, oh, like, let's just get back, let's get back. And then when I got to the train station, I was like, oh, great, my stress is over. Like, I'm here and I'm, I've got the train, like, this is fine. And then, like, as I'm waiting at the platform, just more and more people, because people, like, when you're, like, six minutes early for the train, like, you're like, oh, this is fine, there's not that many people here. And then in the last six minutes, like, a thousand people, like, turn up <laughs> out of nowhere, and then you're suddenly like, oh, my God, I'm going to be buried in someone's armpit for, like, an hour on the <laughs> way home. Like, who's probably thrown up somewhere and just like smells of sick. <clears throat> and then, uh, and then, and then I got on the train and all of that stuff happened. And then I was just like incredibly stressed until he got off the train. Once he got off the train, I was slightly less stressed. But then I got home like really late and I was really tired. Hmm. Yeah, the race are a replacement for whites. So they basically sidestep with foul appearance and no hands which is really really good with guard on them but you are losing two people who are capable of picking up the ball which can be a problem for necromantic if they lose a player who's capable of picking up the ball sounds like an avenger it's just stress man it's just stress. sorry go on jim 
No, yeah. Yeah, I was just saying, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I think, I honestly think Necro are better with these wraiths than they were the Whites. Yeah, I think so. Certainly in Nath style, right? Because they just get the Yeah, 100% in style, yeah. Nath style way better. In progression, I mean, probably better. It just gives you some problems with how to actually get They the probably have on. a slightly worse start and a slightly better, well, not, or a much better ending, I'd say. But maybe not even a slightly better start, but maybe it's... Yeah, it's the worst start, right? Because everything costs more now, so they have, they have a worse. Oh yeah, start. the money thing. Yeah, they have a way worse start, and then they have like a. But they good, only need one skill, right? Yeah, they get like a good middle, <laughs> like middle are better once they get guard on them, and then. And then yeah, Necro being tier them. three, yeah, like the Euro Bowl rules for Necro are insane. <laughs> like they're very good in Euro Bowl rules. There's quite a lot of them as well, I think. Didn't. Um, Maybe Jock had like a Google spreadsheet about how many there were. Yeah, not not too many actually. I was surprised. I mean, orcs are insane in Europe. There should be more orcs in Europe. Yeah. I don't even know. Like that's the thing. It's it's so annoying that the, the way they publish the results for UKTC because they show the names, but they don't show the races they played, and then they've got another page to show the races. So you have to. Like cross, like you can't just look at it and go, <laughs> they were the top orcs, or like seventh, ninth, twelfth, fourteenth, fifteenth were all orc teams. Do you know what I mean? You have mm. to like literally look at their name, find them in the list of names to see what team they play. They've still got me and Hancock recorded playing the diff the wrong teams as well. Like it says I'm playing orcs and he's playing undead. So hopefully they don't fudge my uh, NAF ranking page or my NAF. Not that it matters in any way. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully they give me the like Hancock's tournament wins. That will look nice on my page. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't think so. Brain of Sludge, no. Chaos lizards and Nurgle before picking up Necro. I think Necro has the worst start. That is that is a take, Cobblestorm. That is a take, and I definitely don't agree with. Any of the teams that you listed, except maybe Nurgle. Picking up Necro, I think Necro has the worst. Yeah, no, Necro are definitely better than Nurgle. <clears throat> like, two block players instantly makes them better than Nurgle and Chaos. Yeah. And a dodge player. The only advantage Chaos has is they get an extra reroll. And then Lizards, you can't, you get two rerolls, you have no block, and you don't have a Croxagore. So Lizards are, in my opinion, worse than Necro starting. And Nurgle are Nurgle, so in my opinion, probably the worst starting team in the game. Yeah, Nurgle are pretty trash. Yeah, and and that's like obviously barring stunties. I don't, I don't really know much about stunties, starting rosters because mm. <coughs> yeah, regen is OP as well. Yeah, it kind of well, it's it's more like the apple being UP, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Nice turn that Jim. Nice what, turn that wasn't one. Wasn't bad, was it? Wasn't bad. A good turn by him. Right. The turn before that made me have to just do his Mate, kind of lateral I've, turn. I've seen this guy play a couple of times, and I'm like, he's very, good. he's very good. Yeah, much better than you'd think for some for somebody you haven't heard of. Yeah, before. like a random blood bowl guy. Like <laughs> yeah. I was expecting him to be doing like one D's and stuff, and like, <laughs> like he's he's legit. Cause it, didn't he say something like he played Blood Bowl years ago and then like he's just got back into it? But yeah. like this, he must have played a lot a few years ago. Like he wasn't just someone who like played in the shop once and then yeah. stopped playing it. The other streams have high strength. I mean, Necro have two strength four. Mm. And they have movement eight and they have movement seven. 
But they also only got two reels in the starting team. They're, 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 a, they're a rough start, Necro, for sure. They are. Like, I totally agree they're a rough start. I'm not, I'm not saying it's not a rough start. I'm just thinking the three teams that he mentioned are notoriously bad starters. Yeah, yeah. Well, not Lizards, right? Lizards aren't, aren't really Well, good Lizards have no block, and they only get two re-rolls, and they don't even have a get full one roster. Re-roll. Get one re-roll and full roster. When well, you get the Crocs. Yeah, 100%. Right. Well, that's just crazy. No, it's not You're crazy. It's crazy not taking the crocs. Yeah. That's what I think, Dimra. I think it's crazy not taking I, the crocs. I think you should play in a league with lizards and take your start and then come back to me and tell me that it's crazy not to take a croc tour. I would. No problem. Yeah. So let me let me know when you've done that. <laughs> yes, boss. <laughs> yeah. Some homework for you, Jim. Join the Geordie Blood Bowl League and play Lizards with a Crocs. Are you near, a you near Newcastle? Are you? I'm not playing a fucking league, you loon. I don't man. need to play in a league, Jimmy. I know Blood Bowl. Lizards definitely have to start with yeah, the Crocs. Yeah, Blood Bowl too. They literally have to start with the Crocs. It's non negotiable. I don't know. I like two rerolls. Rerolls double in cost. Crocs of course don't. And you want dedicated fans as well. Like dedicated fans are like Irrelevant. on the D low more important in leagues than they are in any other format. They're not they're not relevant though. They are in leagues. No. Nah. Oh nice roll, Jim. Yeah. Um, I've also blocked my fucking path, haven't I? Oh, you kill him and you'll die. Oh no. I don't know if you're going to score, Jim. I oh, know, I don't think I'm going <laughs> to. <laughs> it's a good thing that zombies movement 8. Oh wait, he's not. <laughs> yeah, I should have I should have GFI'd with this wolf, right? To get yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah. I didn't think. You haven't really been thinking a lot recently, have you? I haven't. I've got some loon whispering in my ear all the time I'm playing. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> He's called himself Dimrath. Dimrath? Dimrath Khan. Yeah. Hey, I'm the 38th best player at UKTC. That's, that's fucking good. Also the champion of OCC 5A. Oh, that's, that's an absolute god tier. Seabra destroyed me earlier. I mean, Dark Elves are incredible. Yeah, they are pretty good. Yeah. I didn't see. I didn't see a lot of that game. Like I was in and out of consciousness when you guys played. Seabra <laughs> yeah, is I... good, and Dark Elves are good. Seabra is very good, and yeah, Dark Elves are very good. Yeah. Ranked thirty-eighth according to Jim. Uh, I was there. Yeah, I was thirty-eight. Yeah, thirty-eight out of. I I beat my best, which was forty-second. The meaning of life. I was mm. at my first UKTC, and then I probably came about six hundred and sixty-ninth in my second one. <laughs> I don't know exactly where I finished. I don't even know what my record was, to be honest. I don't even care. <laughs> I, I definitely incurred some sort of brain damage after that weekend. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna die like at least one year <laughs> earlier than I would have done had I not gone to York <laughs> that that year. Oh dear. And then uh Well hey. Oh Double one Ugh dies. Instant full power. Well, you can't lose, that's the Well I say you can't lose. No, I can't lose. Can't lose. Well you can technically. No. Is that a liner there? One, two, three. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, he's, he's not going to do these rolls, but yeah, he could. He could do that. Yeah, yeah. this lineman could. Oh, this this blitzer could actually get in range. Yeah, this blitzer could get in range. So yeah, so it's still possible right now. Correct. Only pushes. Good. Oh uh, no reroll. Hang on. How fast? How many squares out does that put you? A few. I'll oh, put you on the side step as well. Nice. Mm. Uh should he have followed that? Where's your wolf? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Push, push. Oh, and your wolf is one square out of range, Jim, you moron. Oh, no, I'm such a moron leaving him out. Oh, my okay. God, Jimmy. Yeah, I really should have cheer fired him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, for me. Oh, that's a, actually quite an intelligent score. Annoyingly. <laughs> Annoyingly intelligent. Uh, don't you hate it when your <laughs> opponents know what they're doing? It's That's the absolute worst, honestly. It's bullshit, isn't it? Like the odds of you playing someone who knows how to play Blood Bowl is so low. It's outrageous. It seems to happen all the time. No, not all the time, but when it happens, it's fucking annoying. <laughs> so, are we. Oh, oh, what the hell? I was going to block him first. Yeah, but then you're gonna hit. You have to hit him into the side supper. Can you afford to go back a square? One, two, three, no. four, no, five, six, seven. No. no, I can't. You can't jump over anyone either. No, that was pretty shit. That was hilariously shit, Jim. <laughs> I'll be honest. That was pretty shit. I reckon. If only had GFI'd, I could have just handed it off and scored. Mm. Maybe, I should have, I had, maybe I had to re-roll that, actually. Yeah, there's no way you're scoring this. I like If you score this, this is like next levels of Dimmy versus Jimmy, turn 16 touchdown. Okay. You are cooked, mate. This is it. This is over. Don't say it's over. Don't say it's over. Chain out some tackle zones. It doesn't do him any favours because he can't afford to go sideways, chicken. He can only go straight forwards, which means that he has to go past tackle and do minimum 4 plus, 4 plus, 3 plus. But then it's actually going to be way worse than that. You have to push him into the side step, otherwise it's red, right? No, it's not. It'll be 1D. Mm. Uh, I think I'm going to push him in the side stepper. Really? Yeah, oh my god. Nah, I, I, I think you fucked this. <coughs> I mean, I've definitely fucked it. I'm like, I mean, yeah, I've definitely fucked it. I think you fucked it where you didn't do the GFIs with the yes. wolf last time. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I just needed one just to get him in range. So now it's four, four, five. No, no off tackle, yeah. Four, four, four. Hmm. How many rerolls you got? One. I'll do this first. So four, 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 and it's. I think it popped dodge instantly, so now tackle doesn't matter. Hmm. See if only you had that scoring for it. Yes, I yeah, know, I know. That was really dumb. That was really, really dumb. Really dumb mistake from me. But GG. Good game. Yeah, good game. draws good. That more geezer can play Blood Bowl. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the Golem foul like, was massive, wasn't it? Yeah, it was huge. Yeah, he stayed out for the whole game as well, didn't he? It's like a Kaz. Yeah. Well, like a Kaz. Seabrows won four, lost one, flip me. He's been playing, hasn't he? Source more. Did he? Oh, apparently the only one he lost was because his internet cut out. Um. Where yeah. am I on this list? I haven't won a game in this yet. Rip. Unbelievable. On the first page, though. <laughs> With a draw. Yeah, I'm the only one who's played, isn't it? I'm like the bottom <laughs> of the people who've played. <laughs> wow. Um, but yeah, GG. Good. Uh, yeah, it was good. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you good for the game. Good <laughs> That was good morning, I said. Morgue. I didn't say good morning. I wasn't like pat on the head, good morning. I was like, that was good morning. <laughs> and uh, thanks for entertaining us, Dimmy, during that match. Yeah. And thanks for the game, Morg. And thanks for, and for the league. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.